it came to us after being detailed twice and still having the smell of cigarette smoke. You never know what's in your car seats, so be sure to clean your car regularly. Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Hey guys, you can see this nice looking 2020 Ford Mustang right here. It came to us after being detailed twice and still having the smell of cigarette smoke. And it's pretty intense. It's not like it's fresh. It's been driven around a lot and it still stinks. So we're gonna try our process here to make sure that we get all of the nicotine odors out. This third hand smoke, it gets in everything. Soft goods like the cloth seats, the carpet flooring, all that stuff. And it makes it miserable for the new buyer. So um, I love a challenge and this is gonna be a challenge, so stay tuned. steps in this process. The first step we just completed, which was HEPA vacuuming the entire car. We want to make sure that we get out any type of little particles or dust or anything. The second part is going to be hand cleaning everything with some pretty strong disinfectant. The third part is going to be a hot water extraction, kind of like what you would do when you're cleaning your carpets at home. But because these seats are cloth, we're gonna do both the seats and the carpets. And then the final and fourth step is to place an ozone machine in here from anywhere for between two and four hours. That should completely eliminate the odor. Alrighty, so we have just finished vacuuming out the car and wiping down all the hard surfaces. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get the extractor and we're going to get all the fabric surfaces now. So we're going to hit it with a, um, a concentration of simple green and water just to try to get the rest of that smell out. So our next best option is to just saturate the floors with our simple green solution and then we're going to be able to vacuum that up. We're going to do that maybe once or twice just to make sure that we get the rest of the smell out and then we're going to throw an ozone machine down.
Alrighty, so we have already uh, saturated and vacuumed out the seats and the floors, and now we're going to get onto the ceiling part. Um, since this is also fabric, we also have to hit this with our simple green solution. And the same process, saturate, vacuum, saturate, vacuum, just to make sure that we're getting the rest of the particulate out. detailing where we set up our ozone machine this bad boy has six UV bulbs inside of it and the way that this works is the UV bulbs are gonna cleave oxygen which normally comes in O2 so two particles of oxygen it heats up those particles to break it down and then a third oxygen O3 comes in and that's what produces ozone ozone doesn't like being ozone and it rather be oxygen so it's very unstable and it will split apart grab any other molecule like the smell in chemical or the smell in uh, cigarette smoke and it's going to lift it up and breaks back down into oxygen so we're going to set this bad boy up for about two hours let that run and it should take care of any other lingering odors so this is all the fluid that we got out of those seats after we sprayed and dumped it out twice this is our final product you never know what's in your car seats so be sure to clean your car regularly. Hey guys, so we are finished here with our four part tobacco cigarette smoke cleanup out of this car. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna run the ozone machine for a couple of hours. Now you don't wanna run an ozone machine this powerful for very long in a vehicle because it will mess with the rubber gaskets inside um, the door frames and other parts of the vehicle. So I wouldn't run anything over four hours. Two to four hours is perfect, but um, already we are noticing a huge difference and we will be able to ask the owner of the car because that is really the final decision maker of does this vehicle smell better were we able to remove that nasty nasty odor so we will put a link to all the stuff that we used in the bottom here so you can essentially copy our four point process our four part process and try to do this yourself if you don't have you know an expensive portable extractor you can use kind of a shop back and uh, improvise from there so i hope this vehicle was helpful and thanks for watching all right guys, so prior to this, uh, I actually had gone to the detail shop in the dealership and then I had gotten de detailed by someone else. They did not do a very good job. Um, I don't know if they did before shots, but if they did, the car was pretty much clean. There was really no issues with it, um, except for the smell, it was disgusting. Uh, before I got here, they ended up showing me the old liquid, it was like kind of brown, disgusting. Um, all in all, Spawn the Decon did a great job. Um, everything smells fantastic. You know, basically I have a new car now, thank you. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.